Hey, I'm Noah Bain. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Pokemon ROM hack Fire Red Omega. My disappointments with Black and White 2 and two things that Fire Red Omega does that I like to see in the next Pokemon games. I found Black and White 2 to be a little bit disappointing. It was pretty much the same game as before, same difficulty level, so the choice in Pokemon leading up to Elite 4 were lacking, and a lot of the content was locked until after you'd beaten the Elite 4. Some would say that's when the real game begins. Now I know it's all stand stuff for a Pokemon game, but Black and White 2 wasn't really different and didn't have enough new things about it to be called a sequel. Black and White 2 really should have been Pokemon Grey, like Emerald is to Ruby and Sapphire, and Platinum is to Diamond and Pearl. Fire Red Omega, which is a ROM hack for Fire Red, does two major things right that I'd like to see in the next Pokemon games. Number one is less locked content, massive choice in Pokemon. In Omega, you're back in the familiar region of Kanto, but there are quite a few major changes. Not only are there Generation 1 Pokemon, but 2 and 3. That's over 380 Pokemon, and they have the Platinum move sets, which is Gen 4. Before fighting Brock, you can have over 25 Pokemon caught. The choice in Flying Pokemon that you can use at the start is amazing. You got Pidgey, Dudoo, Hoot Hoot, Talolo, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, I've never used that one before, Swablu, and Spiro. In Omega, the stars are the baby form of Magma, Jinx, and Electabuzz. They've had booster stats and their move sets changed. You get given all Gen 1, 2, and 3 starters, as well as the Togepi. You get the National Dex and the Old Rod straight away. And the Old Rod isn't useless because instead of catching Magikarp, it now catches all sorts of useful water Pokemon. Now you might think with over 380 Pokemon, so many need to be traded to evolve. Nope, that's all changed. They now either evolve with a stone at a certain level, or they need to level up while holding a certain item. Which I really like because screw trading. Obviously being a ROM hack though, trading's gonna be a lot harder, the newer Pokemon games have such an emphasis on trading and online, but I don't care about any of the stuff, I just want to have the Pokemon that I want and use those ones up to the Elite Four. With so many Pokemon being able to be caught at the start, you actually run into a problem that's never been in any Pokemon game before, and that's money shortage. You soon realise you can't afford to catch them all, at least not at the start anyway. You can get to a few places before doing the Elite Four that you couldn't normally, like with the Tri Islands, after doing the first three, you can do four, five, six, and seven. You can even go to Cerulean Cave and catch Mewtwo before doing Elite Four. And conveniently, there's a bit of fence that's been removed. Backtracking is reduced. In the Pokemon Tower, you need to get the Scope before going up the first floor. Major change number two. Gyms in Elite Four are now hard. Gyms now all have six Pokemon. This is great. Now, you have to use items. You have to change Pokemon that can take a few hits so you can heal up your good ones. Brock has a Vulpix, and Missy has the evolved form of Togepi, I don't know what it's called and I've used it. It's a nice nod to the anime. Gym leaders use a lot more items, and some of the Pokemon are even holding items. The Grass Gym Leader Erica has a Blissey. That thing is tanky as. It has leftovers, and Erica used like three items in the blade thing when I fought it. The Elite Four, from what I can tell, have some sort of level scaling happening. I went there at level 81, and their Pokemon were level 87, so then I went there when I was 86, and theirs were 90. But then I went there when I was like 91, and then they were back down to 87. I'm not quite sure what's happening with that, but I find it interesting. Overall, I'm really enjoying Fire Red Omega. Nothing's ridiculously out of place or jarring. There's an excellent choice of Pokemon to catch throughout, and the gyms in Elite Four are super hard. I'm surprised it took me so long to try one of these Pokemon ROM hacks. After I finish this one, I might look into some others. Thanks for watching, this video turned out to be like way more positive compared to my other two, bloody XCOM, Enemy Unknown, and The Walking Dead. If you know any good Pokemon ROM hacks, let me know in the comments. There's one that's caught my eye, which is a remake of Gold, I think, for the GBA emulator though, so that's got me interested.